Oh! Hello, Kiro. Up and doing all right. How's all been going? Brand new week. With new week, I need to change that slide. More videos have come out since then. In fact, I, I realized the other day there are like three videos that I've released to patrons I haven't released publicly because there's just been not been a good time. <laughs> And now I've got the October ones to do, and they're coming out simultaneously, so there's like th three videos in limbo. It's weird. Um, ye. <clears throat> how, 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 and how. Lots of good videos. I hope. I hope. Um, <clears throat> no idea how the second October one's coming along. I've only done two pictures in advance. <laughs> Quite behind. <clears throat> um, sorry, my throat's gone weird all of a sudden. It was fine before the stream. I was singing along to songs as vocal warm-ups, and then this happens, honestly. Terrible. Um, yeah, welcome back. We're doing Alone in the Dark still, inexplicably. Um, Alone in the Dark 3. Let's do do the game. Where is it? Here it is. Swoosh. Infograms. Oh, hush you. Shush. Bruno Bonnell. Shush, go away. Fabier, leave. Uh, make sure I take care of myself too. Uh, yeah, I was getting there. <laughs> uh, right, I seem to recall that we were on this one because we turned into a cat. <clears throat> Are you winning? We turned into a cat. Um, how you doing, Dark? You right? Uh, yeah. So last time we confronted the person who's doing this, who's dead, who needs money. I don't really understand what's going on. Um, and he killed us. Uh, fortunately, we had an amulet, which, in this particular instance of us being killed, and none of the others, <clears throat> but in this particular instance, it brought us back from the dead as a cougar. Because a Native American magic. Ooh, that's that's how that works, surely. Thank you, 1995. Um, yeah. And that's, and now I have to, what was it he said? Something like bring, bring back the eagle or something to, to the earth before the fire goes out. Otherwise I'm, I'm not going to be able to be resurrected as a human. I don't understand. Um, oh yeah. How you doing, Doc? You having a good, having a good week so far? Right, we are cat. Speen! We are speen cat. This way. Ah. Oh, I've got to remember the controls. Controls are hard. Uh, right. We were in here. Um, anything to do with this? What do we... We only have the option to fight. Um, is there anything here? No? Oh! Goodbye! So yeah, I'm gonna get my bearings again, try and work out what's going on. The door's locked and I, I'm a cat. Cats can't get into buildings, we know this. Game just got cancelled because one player's uh, getting power work done in the area. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, we have a barrel of tar. Ooh. The window's locked. To. I won't be able to open it. It's locked! What did that say? Something to the barrel of... Bag of feathers. You. Okay. Get in there. This is where we met somebody who gave us a note <clears throat> who was then promptly killed, and I don't really understand. Um, which game was this? Was this Fallout? I lose track of what games you're in. Loads of games. <laughs> so yeah, silver can overcome werewolves. Unfortunately, the only access of silver I remember is in a building whose doors locked. So. This feels like I should be able to go in there, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, I thought that was an open gate leading into a thing. No, that's just a cart. I see, I see. Who locked all these doors? Also, this uh, we blew up this building, didn't we? Pretty sure we blew up this building. So yeah, this is the exploratory phase where I just sort of run around and see what I can find. Pulled up another walkthrough? Yeah. Or is this the building we blew up? Well, that's the building we blew up. <laughs> We're doing great, Jib! <laughs> 
Well then, uh, resume. It's not load, is it? Resume. Right, I'll figure out. How's the chip? Running this way, running that way, where I can. Attack the guy with the whip. Where? There are werewolves now? Mustache face couldn't beat a werewolf, no chance. Oh, oh. They're not very good at fighting. But we can interrupt the whip, but we can't do much else. Uh, anything in the saloon? Excuse me. I must explore. Allow me to explore. Oh, hey, we're in here. Nice. Doing great, that's why I've died already. Yeah. This is not the path of the eagle. Uh, mm. This is not the path. Is that their way of stopping me from soft locking? <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Oh, I can jump up the stairs as a cat. Right. I can fall down the hole as a cat. Uh, good morning, Cast Papa Child, and now you're in the process of finishing up day 25. Wow. I'm on day 21. <laughs> Although I have already done 27, inexplicably. But no, it's, it, it is explicable. I did them in the wrong order. No bad cat get out of the tavern squirt spirit water bottle. <laughs> this is never in the orientation I think it is. Hang on a minute, one second. No, I can't just run in there. Because running is a different action to walking. We ascertained this from having trying to jump over a gap. Like it was here, actually. Uh this is okay, that's the exploded place. We've checked all that. Why does the tombstone say D E T? It says uh, Z uh O E J. And that is a clue for a puzzle whose solution is in the previous game. Where I can, where I can, where I can. Diddly 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 where I can. We turned into a cat. It's a barrel of tar, which I can smoosh my paws in. Silver can overcome the werewolf. So I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, can I get up through that pipe up there? Is there a way of me getting up here? Jump through the window? Doors locked. Can I jump up here? I can jump upstairs, but you've ascertained this. No, okay. Right, okay, well, let's, let's save this as silver. How's a miss? Can get in there, can't get in there. The only building I can get in is the saloon. I guess it's something to do with that. We can get up the stairs, it's blocking me from going anywhere else. But just don't fall in the hole, I suppose. This door's locked. I can go around the hole. Nope, that door's locked. Can I jump over the hole by running? No. Um. So. It won't open. Why can I go in there then? I was running, yeah. Well, we could try again. No harm. Everything's locked. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna jump this. That is not the path of the eagle. Let's not try and jump that then. Probably gonna turn out I have to kill whip gun. The frame rate's much lower in this room for some reason. But yes, uh, the the OEJ is no, don't don't go down, no. Bad cat. Oh, 
Yeah, how's everybody doing? This is the start of the week, even though I've already asked that of some people, but not others. Right, I'm running. I'm running. I've... No. Okay. Running. Not the answer. Is there nothing else to do in that building? So... Oh, I am supposed to do... Okay. Well... Okay, I am supposed to do this. Oh, no, don't go down the stairs. Jimmy says, get good. I know, I'm just not cut out for these hardcore games. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Go. Supposed to jump over the hole, right? No, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> This controls more awkwardly than you'd think. <laughs> I'll need something to pry it out. Right. Okay. Yeah. How do I jump? <laughs> do I jump button? An attack button. There's fight, that's the only action I can do. It would make sense I'm supposed to go here, because it's the only place I can go. <laughs> Judges in Kai Kai. Kai Kai. Mm. Am I supposed to go slowly? Let's see. Let's go slow. Let's not go slow. Judges in Kiki. There we go. You just have to spell it wrong. Backwards. <laughs> That's the animation for going backwards. <laughs> I didn't even move forwards then. <laughs> that just happened. Uh, is there anything I'm supposed to do? The only other thing is this bag of feathers. I don't know if that helps. If I tar and feather my paw, does that mean I can fly? Bag of feathers means you can fly! I can fly! We can fly! It, it just says jump. Uh... Ow. <laughs> Gotta jump over the hole. Are we sure it's this hole? <clears throat> Stop stopping. <laughs> Look, Miss is getting upset. <clears throat> Into saloon, go upstairs and jump over the hole in the floor. <laughs> Devastated. I'm just some hand cap. Yes, there's another upstairs and another saloon with another hole in the floor. Try jump, <clears throat> but hole. Oh, uh, now, uh, now I have the jump command. <laughs> I now suddenly have the jump command. 
which I didn't need to get over the hole in the stairs. <laughs> Wonderful, right. Do I just run towards this? No, presumably I got it. Oh, no, I do just run towards that. I don't jump for that one. Pro gamer parsnip. <sighs> Even if it's just like a sound to indicate that you've got a new command, that would be enough, right? <laughs> Working as intended. Right, quick, let's go. Oh, hang on, do we have to, oh, we do have to do this. Get the thing. Get, that was the eagle. Where you got the eagle? Let's go back. There's an actual animated. To be fair, the cat is pretty well animated in this. <laughs> better animated better than the people are. <laughs> this is not where I'm supposed to be going. Assuming I'm actually supposed to be going back to where we started. Jump out of the window there too. Was I too slow? Might have been too slow. Demon acorn. Oh, werewolf. A wolf still wanders the... Right, okay, well. This is what the werewolf's going on about. Aha, I can go in here now. Give me the silver. Silver. Yeah, no, I just had to run towards that. Didn't even have to jump. Right, where are you, wolf? Yeah, bugger. Show yourself! Um, actually, cats only do that when they're really agitated. Show yourself, wolf. Aha! Or amazing combat sequence. I'm glad we're seeing all this drama. <laughs> oh. Well, something happened. Oh, it turned into a person who then turned into a cat. Thrilling. Action. I also have a silver paw now. This is very cute. Oh, there's another one. We can see that in in full uh, 10p. No, they hit me. I'm just swinging my arms. If you come forward, it's your fault. Turn into cat. Jump away. Yeah, go into the lasagna. Hey, that's me you're burying. So these are the bad guys, I guess. Old skeleton arm. There's me. <gasps> Bleh. <laughs> I have come a long way. Right, well, can I jump in the <laughs> rip? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Try to bury me, you rascal. <gasps> There's a dead island crossover. Pulled his gun to probably kill you again, then dropped the gun and ran away. Because, well, he, he killed me once and I came back, so there's no point using the gun again, is there? <clears throat> Couldn't even bury me deep enough. I know. I bury you deep. Six foot deep. Is that a thing there? Gun. Almost missed that. That's now all I have. Because they took all my stuff, I guess. We're alive again! 
All we had to do was learn how to jump. So I, did I pick up the soap from behind my grave? I did not pick up the soap from behind my grave. Let's go pick up the soap from behind my grave, shall we? Uh, right. <laughs> Why? Because hint line. So for those who missed it, this game had a, uh, a presumably paid hint line. And as a consequence, the puzzles have become significantly obtuse. I can't go back in there. Uh, do you... Can go in the grave instead? Don't really go that way. Can I... It says I can't go back in there, but I haven't tried to open! Ha ha! There is nothing to be found. Right. Oh, hang on, there was something over here. There was the hey, barrel you. itself. Zoons! What? That's my double? What? Yeah, we, we look identical. <laughs> Me and the Wicked Witch of the West. Hey, dude. Oh, I, oh, I see. They copy me. Let's let's wash you. Can I get you to hit your head on the ladder or something? <laughs> Nothing to be found. There's a bit of rope holding up a pipe. I thought that might be useful. Okay, he has a gun as well. All right. Uh, can we just like push each other. Get out of the way. <laughs> Don't understand how you're supposed to know the next thing to do. Right. Okay. Um. This reminds me of a cartoon I watched when I was a kid, and the way around this was, um... ...to punch yourself. <laughs> um... Okay, why well, you have to do a thing and then immediately undo a thing. Uh... Do a thing and then immediately undo a thing. I'll try punching it. Yeah, it does hurt me. Um, do I have to hop in the grave so he'll follow me? Get rid of something. I have to put my gun down. Oh, hang on. <laughs> See. I am against violence. Leave. Obviously, I always dreamed of being a cowboy. <laughs> I'm up here for some reason. Cowboy noises, you all. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're right, though, Hazel. <laughs> it's not even crispy jank, it's just bad. Why didn't I see Why can't I see that? Why is that not popping up? That should. Oh, the comma after it. Um. Right, okay, well, let's put soap in it. <laughs> There's a serpent in your footwear. There's a snake in my boot. Nothing to be found. Okay, let's put soap in it. 
Oh, no, I went Um, Jump in? Uh. Oh! Hey, you. Uh. Hi! I didn't. Do you want some soap? What is this? He's just here for a shower, he's got a brush. Takes a flask of alcohol into the shower. Twang, 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 twang. Here, have soap. Piece of soap! Metallic brush. That probably would have killed you first. Um, use the metallic brush on here. Give it a scrub. It acts as a handle. I might lie was in that soap. Nobody knows. All right. Survive that one. <laughs> but I'm not trusting this. Go back, check for items. <laughs> uh, search. Fall down holes a lot. Some of them are survivable and some of them aren't. Hello there. What's this? It's a dead leaf. I saw those literally four pixels. What's this? Okay. Okay. Um, if you use this kind of logic in Grimhole, why would you kill me? <laughs> the puppet would. What's going on with you then? There is, there is nothing to be found here. Sure about that? There's something to push? Absolutely nothing. Do you want a leaf? I think I have a leaf. Right. Dank. We're going to call dank, a dark dank from now on. <laughs> I know it's a typo, but I like it. Um, use this kind of logic in Grim Hollow. <laughs> Ragdoll will kill you. You're not, you're not even in the game. Uh, oh, notebook. That that was one pixel. <laughs> May the force, eighteen sixty-five. Be with you. Nine thirty p.m. All contact with <laughs> the mountain ore causes irre irre irreversible mutations i can hear mr stone seems immune to the radiation radiation radiations but all others must pour lead on the mineral before working with it michael mouse is having a moment june 7th 1865 2 a.m the water in the caves uh, appears normal, but it is in fact heavy water. The hydrogen in the mo 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 molecules is replaced by its iso isotope oh, uh, due to due to due to deuterium uh, combined with the ore. This water could trigger the apocalypse but i need more gold yeah this is like we've talked about the mid-pacific mid-atlantic accent this is sort of you know pan-european um 
ours is sort of French adjacent. It's, it's, again, it's like mutant Belgian, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> More gold. June twenty first, eighteen sixty five, midnight. The Aztecs believed that he who could tip the world into the sea that lies beyond the great scar would rule the earth. If, if that's true, he was getting paid by the second. I'll soon be sitting beside Mr. Stone. Okay. What a notebook. <laughs> Is that what the film The Notebook's about? If you've never seen David Suchet's Poirot, he sounds exactly like that. Oh, can we dub Poirot? <laughs> Hi, guy. Hi, how are you? You right? You having a good time? Right? See you around. Uh, oh, there's something there. I guess I have to search for it. Nothing there. That's a flask. Pickaxe. Is better at fighting than me. Combat in this game's great. <laughs> oh, hang on, do we get a new death thing? Oh, we do. Ooh. very melancholy. <laughs> Engineer Hutchinson, that's who had that voice. fight. Unless I can fight with the pickaxe! No. Or maybe. Oh! <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Look at how that works! <laughs> Melee combat. I can- oh! Oh, and you have a friend. Did you hear the clanking? I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy ho. Right, I'm gonna search this and solve this. There's nothing there. Because you can kill him, but don't use the gun yet. Pickaxe is good. Uh, let's double check I haven't missed anything in any of the other spaces. Actually, that might be slightly weird pixels there. No. Valhalla Island is hearing pickaxes from miles away. Those are great dwarves. Steps into place sound like I'm wearing heels on a wooden floor with no underground. Ooh. That's not as nice. Ooh, I love I love good footstep foley. Ooh, poppy, crunchy. I've probably said this before, but the uh, Doctor Who Dalek Invasion of Earth 2150 AD with Peter Cushing 
starring as the eccentric human inventor Doctor Who, um, has the best footstep foley sound effects. <laughs> they sound like they're in your ears. <laughs> The closest I'll get to understanding ASML. Sheets of paper. Let's read the sheets of paper. The rifleman is waiting. Touch him and you'll die. Give him a drink of water and he'll teach you to fly. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Charisma. When you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see. I'll be sticking to my bed. No shovel and pick for me. Oh, you almost said that correctly. Um, <clears throat> All right, one second. Oops. No, I'm not reading that notebook again. <laughs> the rifle man is waiting. Touch him and you'll die. Give him a drink of water, and he'll teach you to fly. When you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see. I'll be sticking to my bed, no shovel and pick for me. Hmm. The needleman. Mr. Charisma was your nickname in high school. <laughs> Mr. Charisma. Well, I know what's down here, but let's give it a go. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Well then. The rifle man is waiting. Touch him and you'll die. Give him a drink of water and he'll teach you to fly. When you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see. I'll be sticking to my bed, no shovel and pick for me. It's a puzzle? Save lot is, is this this can't be trial and error. Surely there's something in like in the poem. I thought the first letter of each thing would be like a compass direction or something. No, it is just okay. Okay, it's consistent. The sound effect changed though. Guys have no help other than here is the path. There was a war map earlier, I don't know if it has something to do with this. No, the war map seems to be where we are, right? And there was some, like... I don't know, maybe it is, actually. No, no, because it goes up, it generally just goes up. I can't imagine we're going to go forward three times. Good, okay. Well, let's save that. Oh, well, that's not... Is it... I don't trust this at all. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I feel justified. Uh, this one. No. So I knew I knew what not to do, and I did what not to do twice. So <laughs> I think that that shows me in a particularly good light. Hi. No. The rifle man is waiting. When you are finally up there. Zudens. Nah, he's better than me. Um. This is neither the place nor time. But he wanted a drink. Uh... Oh, I have to hit him with all six shots. That is... Oh. Well... <laughs> I assumed not hit hitting with five would be enough to get the general idea. So if, if I'd used a single shot up until this point, screw me. <laughs> Says kill him with the cult, five shots didn't do it. Mm. Were there other bullets anywhere? Or... Toss the gun. Hey, hey, that's not not a terrible idea, to be honest. Uh, I can't throw, unfortunately. Let's try again. Another guy says to attack him with a pickaxe. Okay. Oops. Oh, there's a map. It has a map. Apparently. Now I've forgotten my inventory, but. <laughs> Enter, that's it. <laughs> There's apparently a map in this game. I don't know why, it's a, quite a small place. <laughs> ah, okay. I feel unwell. Oh, jeez. Not sure that was delivered. <laughs> Hello. 
Oh! Love me an underground library. Hi, guy. Hi there. I broke the pickaxe, hit you with a stick. Stick you in the face with a stick. Have a stick, you bugger with a stick, you in the. with a stick. Hit you with a bloody stick in the. F Whoa, you fell. Oh, you're about. Nice. Just hit him with a stick. Okay, well, let's check over here first. Um. Check all the shells. We know that shells can have things, even though they don't look like they do. There's something there, like a bottle. You say, oh, okay, as if there was something else I was supposed to do. <laughs> what picture? Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. The man reads a book and then gets hit with a stick and turns into a bat. Classic. We found a book. Who wants to read the book? Let's find out. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, okay, so... The expectation of just destroying everything west of the San Andreas Fault. Jetstone sketchbook. Oh, he sketched it. Los Angeles gone. Didn't expect the guy to freak out and clip through the floor and then turn into a bat. That makes sense. That makes sense. Understandable that you would feel that way. Anything else here? There are shirt. Oh, candle, maybe. Oh, a scorched book. I am now convinced that he whom I protect, fruit of the union between a certain prex, but Jared. God knows what happened to Stone's adoptive parents. I pray that Jay will follow in the footsteps of his mother and... Okay, the, these are sentences that have been cut off by burning. Okay, this is... <laughs> um... I'm gonna put that back up so Scotland can take notes. Uh, I guess in this picture it'd be the smaller thing that sinks. I think Scotland's smaller than the rest of the Grey Bin, so I don't really want Scotland to sink. Between a certain Preg's bath, Jarrett. Apparently. Yeah, I didn't get anything from that book, by the way. <laughs> I found a needle. Okay, wasn't there a thing in the thing about a thing? Let me just commit this to memory. The rifleman is waiting. Touch him and when you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see, I'll be sticking to my bed. No. S the rifleman is waiting. A rifleman is waiting. And he's thirsty. Oh. <laughs> the door. Open the door. There's water here. Fill up water flask. Unless that guy was the rifleman. I have to give him a drink of water, right? Yeah, it just kills me. <laughs> I died of water. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> well then. Didn't know this was Kinktober. Kinky. Oh, you can pronounce that, Hazel.
Okay, don't drink the water. Good to know. <laughs> no, hey, King Bed. <laughs> it looks like there's something else there, right? Oh, this, this. This the thing? A candlestick. Oh. Hello. Smells like Chippy's fault. <laughs> I found a needle. Yeah, I hadn't picked that up, apparently. We got everything else? Mm, no, let's get the books. But I had the. Oh, yeah, 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 it's just called that. Inktober is very much a real thing. Oh, okay. I was just doing a pun on Inktober. I'm sure it's a thing, though. The internet's the internet. Um, That looks like a thing. What's that? That's not a thing. Hello! Do you want a drink? Wait, hang on, what? Are you tiny? You're tiny! I drew who? What? I drew- I drew a character in Metal Gear Solid. You'd made them Kink Vader. <laughs> it's over as porn writing prompts. Oh, okay. I don't know how right I am when I make jokes. I just assume the worst with the internet. Um. Anyway. I'm badly poisoned. Is that me who's badly poisoned? I'm using it, I'm not drinking. Okay. Oh. Now you're made of stone. Okay. They teach me how to fly, so we found the lift. And a China piggy bank. Yes. Look up King Toba on AO3, you'll find all sorts of fanfiction based on King Toba prompts. Nice. I'm badly oh, I'm badly positioned. Not poison, I read that wrong. I just assumed it was poison because I was using the flask of poison. Um, all you ever did was make fan art of to draw through. Wow. Yeah. Poisoned position. That's the first time he said, I'm badly positioned. Sometimes he said, you know, this isn't the place to use this or whatever. And we're like, just make the prompt bigger. That's a colour puzzle. Microscope. Push the microscope. I can't see a thing. I'm not in the right place. That's the one. That's the usual one. Well, push red. What does this button do? I did, yeah, I did get the. I can't see it. Okay, well. What does this button do? That's a satisfying sound. What does this button do? What is this man do?
Hello. <clears throat> what a pink, but I gotta think what about piggy bank is. I know the point of a piggy bank. I was just seeing if I could do something in the room first. Because obviously there's a microscope glass plate in the piggy bank. Why didn't I just get the plate in the lift? I assumed I couldn't see anything because like a light was off. <laughs> Can we do a full ZU of this? Where we just have the puzzles make sense. Yellow, green, blue, red. Yellow, white. Music. Uh, do we have to reset them somehow? this thing here. Is there a reset button? Well, let's see if it works. <laughs> I think the reset button is this. Wait, is the stone around us part of the elevator? <laughs> Just realized. Well, you check your piggy bank before doing anything. Well, I didn't know. Many is the occasion where I picked up an item and then three hours later it turns out that I have to use it. Right. I'm just gonna double check it's the same, because it might not be. But I think this game is actually that sophisticated to randomize it, but you never know. Gonna check it then. White, green, blue, red. around with this one. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. What an angle. I'm not in the front. Okay, fine. I was gonna look at the tube, but if you wanna look at the table, that's fine. I have a vial of poison, unlike the poison I had before. Oh, yes. The, the reason the water was poisoned before is because of the book that said it's heavy water. Right. A vial of position. I'm not in the wrong poison. Not in the wrong poison. I'm standing in the wrong poison. Hi, how are you? You right? Are you the guy with the weird voice? I want some poison. Ready for your shot, Doctor. A poisoned needle. When did I get that? I don't know when I got that. Did I just get it? No, it usually tells me when I pick up something. 
I don't remember picking that up. I have a candlestick. That looks like a poison needle, right? Got it when I used the vial of poison. Oh, I did pick up a needle, I guess. Uh, use the candlestick. Attach it to the pickaxe handle so I can poke him with it. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I had a boy, a, a needle. Um. A little piggy bank. This is why you recommended us to not keep in the stream guy. I would have thought that the cat would be the last bit. This is pretty reasonable, right? I am now convinced. This was not what I wanted to look at. The rifleman is waiting. When you are finally up there, the needle man you'll see. I'll be sticking to my bed. No shovel and pick for me. No shovel. Needle man I'll see is sticking to my bed. What does that mean? Shovel and pick. Completely harmless little old man. Break that harmless little old man. Are you ready for the shot, Doctor? And this is of no use. Is there anything else in here to interact with? Can I interact with this in some way? Is this the thing? Like it might be. Can you blame me? This is the thing. Oh, well, well, a distilling coil. Distill the poison. Just drink it. My inventory. Yeah, that's what I'd be thinking right now. <laughs> Have a good time at work, Hill Dragon. <laughs> time for a fact. <laughs> uh, the past tense of snow used to be snew. Um... <laughs> Snew don't say. <laughs> you knew that. Alright, here we go, I guess. Oh! No, he's a harmless little old man! We're in some sort of strange situation. Got a bottle of ammonia. Still got a vial of poison, poison needle. Ow, oh, stop it. Got a piece of straw. I got a key to the gale. I just remind everybody that. We shrunk down to a miniature size for five seconds, walked through some bars, immediately got big again, and then stabbed a harmless old man with neat with poison. Yeah, the key to the jet. He deliberately put himself in there, I guess. 
to keep them safe from me, I suppose. Yes, and Casual Tuesday. What happened to this series? Like, the second game wasn't as good as the first, but this is a whole other level. <laughs> right, we got the ammonia. Do I have to throw that? He had an octopus face and was punching me. I mean, that's not that's nothing new. <laughs> I can't use that. I can't use it. I'll throw it. Fine. Can I, can I distill this? Got a piece of straw. Um. The only thing I can think, and I know I'm kind of mixing up ammonia and chlor, uh, uh, chloroform now. But I've got to put, I've got to knock someone out and put them to bed. In order to get to the upper thing or something? Or is this, am I just here now in this? Okay, no, I don't, I don't go down. Okay. Um, do I examine the piece of straw under the microscope? <laughs> It still says, well, well, a dis distilling coil. Can I search it for anything? Nothing there. Is there anything else in here? And I might have missed. I don't know why there would be, because otherwise I would need a key to get out. How big is the piece of straw? Anything I can think to use it on. Where's the needle? <laughs> yes. Do I want a hint? I mean want is a strong word. Drink the poison. <gasps> Devil, that was poison! <laughs> Who'd have thought? I mean, the last time I drank poison, I, it was fine and I just shrunk down to the size of a mouse. Can we, after this, can we do a series of streams where we write a horror western? I feel like that idea has potential and this is just absolute nonsense. <laughs> uh, do I use it on this? Um... Yes, yeah, so we want to write a horror western, let's do it. Particularly a follow up to these games, because like, the, the gentleman ex detective who wants to save his friends. It's an interesting way of setting. Well, I guess maybe that doesn't fit with the Western. But either way, I mean, it's a bunch of, you know, it's, it's Westerns are all about people wandering into a continent that they don't know anything about and poking things with guns. <laughs> That's basically what Westerns are. Um, Is that something? That looks like it might be something. I could argue lots of Western horror stories if you frame it right. Yeah, exactly. And obviously you have like uh, the Native Americans who, you know, you, you don't have to co-opt their cultures to be like, oh, their gods are actually sleeping eldritch horrors or whatever. But you could, you could definitely have it as like these people have survived here for long enough that they just have an intrinsic sort of built in. Don't touch that. <laughs> we just know not to touch that. We know not to go down there. <laughs> I, you know, Survival of the fittest. <laughs> Is there something I need to do with like the gaps in the floor? That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Uh, they did make a Prey movie with Native Americans as the main character. Apparently the original Prey game, the main character of that is a Native American. And then when they made the reboot, it had absolutely nothing to do <laughs> with the original game. So, oh, okay, fine. 
Um, I'm sure to the natives, the cowboys with ours. Yeah, exactly. Um, remember what happened five minutes ago? Do it again. Do more, more huffing poison. More of them. Okay. Um, right. Do I go this way this time? No, I'm pretty much stuck. Unless... Can I... Pole vault? <laughs> this is the thing I can do. Hang on. It's probably a bad idea. No, go back. Okay. But I have this very large piece of straw now. Is there a mouse in here I have to fight? Or over here? Or do you mean back to where I was? Different back. Okay. All right. This way. Under the table. Oh! Hello! There's, there's just a doorway here. <laughs> Not even just a hole in the wall. An actual doorway. This is an intended method. <laughs> And now I have to pole vault. Oops. With a piece of straw. further away but I have room to actually put the straw down no quick the potion's wearing off grab the vial with poison I wonder what that was going to look like. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a time limit on this. Well, let's go. It's terrific. It's not, not nice. There's my straw. Dang. A vial with a potion, not poison. This one's a potion. I, I'm going to assume they have the similar etymology. Hi! Oh no, I'm trapped in the spider web. October again, isn't it? Hey everybody, it's Greg. What's this? Can I poison it with ammonia? No, no. There's a thing there, I can see the thing. It's a pot of glue. Put the glue in there. My hands are full of glue! Uh, ammonia. Why did I put glue on my hands? Also, why my hand... Guy calls this a giant spider. Yeah, that's... The, those classic four-limbed spiders. Also says, don't get caught in the web. I got that bit. We have a vial with a potion. What does that do? Not in the right place. Okay. I seem to be having a nice time over there. Oh! Hi! Well, that happened.
My hands are full of glue. I haven't actually, like, searched this. So let's search this. Nothing to be found, okay? Hey, Greg. I haven't tried drinking this yet. What's it did? Kill me, probably. Yep. There's nothing else I need to do here. So... Get the glue and get out using the glue. Mm. Mm. And get out using the glue. Th that's the opposite of what I thought I'd need to do. <laughs> I need to unglue. Access my inventory while I'm there. Makes sense. In the right spot, not with the spider web. Under the beam of light. Okay. Me. Do I? Yes, I do. I, do. I climb the wall with my hands of glue. Only if Greg's not attacking me. Go eat your lava. To be fair, I was only 50% sure that that was actually light and not just a different coloured rock. Come here, eat your lava. Now it works. And now it's too slow and Greg's going to attack. Great, fantastic. Yep, going to get attacked by Greg. I also don't really know how to climb. <laughs> okay, now you're fed up. Just run into it until it does it. Sometimes, maybe. Do I have to put more glue? Your walkthrough says to do more things, right? Uh, <laughs> I feel like there should be a way to get rid of that spider web. Okay, Greg. Distracted. Go! Hey, he just immediately wants to lick me. Okay. I feel like that's automatic. So, what happens if I go here and... Okay. Not do anything. I was rather hoping that would do something. Let me do that again. <clears throat> It did do something, but only eventually. Okay. Everyone lose interest. 
Now I can step on him, hashtag kinktober. Now there's a spider. Good. Ding. That's the horror equivalent of da da da. Don't touch the web. Look, a skull. Hey, you doing, right? My hey, name's you. Yeehaw McGrig. Oh, it's just your head. Cool. Can I have your head? Got a lead ingot. Oh, lovely. Got your head. Hammer's head. Throw it. put it on the eating get <laughs> this game is <laughs> it just stopped like an hour ago <laughs> rephrase that should have stopped an hour ago save after this animation hey you I, hi you sound very normal <laughs> should have stopped three weeks ago just in general not even the stream Kind of looks pushable. Okay, it is. That's why. Can I? No, no. I'm just sort of stuck here now. Flask. Drink the blue flask. Right down the hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually trying now. <laughs> Just because I know what to do doesn't mean I can do it. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> Remember what game I'm playing. Well, I dropped the head down then. without saving. 
Why does it take so long to find the head? <laughs> Gosh! Gameplay! Nope. Oh, it worked. Open the door inexplicably. Oh, I got a Winchester. Nice. What's in this room? Oh good, it's the Kung Fu guy from the second game. Really what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I guess that's why they give you flasks. <laughs> mm. I don't trust that being blue. I imagine it just means it's good. I don't trust it. I got a cobra's wig. Mm. And also a silver doll. Uh, what's here? Wink wonk. Dead stone, the man who brings gold to the city. There's a little slot there for a dollar. I'm badly positioned. I was perfectly well positioned to look at the thing. How would you like me to be positioned? Can't use that here. And now I'm well. Okay, perfect. Game, you can't keep getting worse. <laughs> and a box of matches. Right, there's a thing there. Nothing to be fair, literally something there on the floor. If I walk any closer to it, I will die. Uh, okay, we mentioned the lead. We need to pour lead in onto the rock in order to handle it, so I've done that. Put that in there, that's gonna heat up. 
matches. I can't reach the crucible. I'm standing next to the crucible. Okay, I'll go round this way. What's that? Scorched paper. Johannesburg Gazette, November 1st, 1837. During the second Halloween celebration, fire broke out in the San Juan mission. The cause of this blaze is unknown. He said first, it's second. It makes more sense for it to be first because yesterday was Halloween. <clears throat> no victims have been reported. However, Jedediah Stone, one of the orphans raised in the mission by Father Don Fernando, is missing. Let us hope the tragedy has not befallen young Jed. Died in an orphanage fire. Can't reach the... Okay, now I can. Good. All of the lead. Question. Just one? Singular? Now I can touch the uranium. Which I guess was the thing. Oh. What's the point of this game? That is the best question. I find an evil wand with a mineral tip. <laughs> Gucci ran over <laughs> with this fight. Let's see, is this still cursed? No. Curse is gone. Curse is radiation, turns out. Really, what are we doing? <laughs> We're rescuing this lady, apparently. This is what we came here to rescue this person. <laughs> I found a parchment. We can read that. No slave of evil may survive around the eagle who rules over the green world. Green world? <gasps> Five viewers and followers? Oh my word! That sounds like an amazing idea. Have you considered being banned? Um... Right. Yeah, our mission was to rescue this person, who was apparently this person from the previous game. Somehow. Search. There is nothing to be found. <laughs> oh, a cobra's wig? I'm just gonna leave you here. I'll open this door. The lever is jammed! Let's put some ammonia in it. Oh, screw you, bye. <laughs> oh, she's stuck there now. I'm stuck here. Ooh. Oh, hi. I didn't realize you were there. Bloody hell. <laughs> that was incredibly inefficient. But I got your knife. And I just walked into some spikes. That's what you get for being a buff face. How dare you. My butt. And all face. Oh, I think I just saved that. Yeah. One save game, not resume. Well. This is why you rotate saves. Back to the amazing c conclusion to this. Oh no, whatever. Oh, oh, no, I walked into that. Resume! <laughs> Keep forgetting that there's an invisible death field of radiation. 
I got the next game ready to play today. I just want to let you know that. Gripping. Silently flop. Is this someone's favorite game? I highly doubt it. <laughs> Uh, save it again. Never pointless. Uh, is that a thing on the feet of the camera? It is. It's parchments. Oh, we read this. Thing. No. No slav of the veil. Will evil with the slav of the veil with evil of the evil. I don't know. You don't get the first hit in, you're screwed. Now I could suddenly throw this. So let's do it. A broken bottle. Give me your knife. Those locked. Oh, can I wake her up with the ammonia? That's a good question. Let's find out. How dare you be clever? <laughs> there you go, have some ammonia. <laughs> I can throw it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's step back a bit, okay. at the door. Did that work? Probably not. Probably missed. I was thinking throwing it at the door the vapors could go through and wake her up because apparently I... Well, I'll try it again. Oh look, the back see-through. So what's everybody got planned for the remainder of the week? While I'm doing this. Because this game's still going, apparently. Literally can't do anything about this. Oh, I can get close enough that you can't hit me. That's how knife fights work. Or, oh, I can't hit them either. Okay. Uh, that 
I'm looking at the door, right? <laughs> Uh, work and getting rid of this cold chest infection. Oh no, that's accelerated since last week we talked about it. Oh dear. Well, hopefully it gets better. Wake up! Don't use it here. I think I got the right idea, it's just for some reason not actually hitting the door. It's pretty, no, apparently not. Apparently I can't throw it until I get in this room. And now that we're nowhere near. I, that, that is what I'm trying. I'm glad I'm at least trying to do the right thing. Save. Hey, it hit. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> Seventh time's the charm. Why would you base a puzzle that's time sensitive on the ability to hit something in a very narrow room? that you have to step back from with aiming controls that are awful. <laughs> oh good, the spikes went back. Thank you, Emily. Where are you going? <laughs> Ooh, now time to put on my fighting hat. Because. Because, 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 because. The door is still locked. I don't know what's up with Emily at the moment. This door's locked as well. I have a knife. Stamp step. Got an evil wand with a mineral tip. Cobra's wig? I'm badly positioned. Do I... What is a cobra's wig? Oh, that just opened the door. Natural mo. Oh god. Boop. Wi-Fi noises. Run. Well. Nothing to be found there. Locked. Doesn't even look like there's a door there. Can't reach the totem. I'm standing next to him. <laughs> Green. 
everything's radioactive now. I have radiation sickness. Hi, cats. Is that the sound of armor? That can't be the sound of armor, sure. I'm about to give up the ghost. I'm invincible while drinking. Got a rubber glove. A rubbly glove. Oh, there's something over there as well. Put on the rubbly glove. Now I'm safe! With my rubbly glove. And a sack of coal! Surely I can put the sack of coal. I did bugger all health. I thought that would be a massive heal. Uh, set fire to this entire game. Um, still have an empty glue plop, plop, glue, plop, glue plop, and an empty poison bottle. Sorry, position time. Uh, there's not a lot I can do all the time he's shooting me in the face. I tend to find that distracting. I want to come over here, understandably. Just immediately shoots at me. something to do with this though, right? The thing here... What's this? Need to push it? <laughs> oh good, I'm, I'm glad I'm not just missing it. Um, there was something rather relieving about seeing Jibby or Kiro just express disbelief at what they're reading. Um, I'm assuming that you are reading something here. Um, you're squinting? At okay, so there is something on the floor somewhere? I have a rubbly glove. Got that. Oh, hang on, is that something? No. There's the glove. Excuse me, I'm trying to pick up my rubbly glove. Doesn't really matter, I'm gonna die anyway. I'm gonna take a lot of shots in the face, don't I? Oh, it's nothing I have to pick up. Right. 
What happened to the cane thing in the menu? Uh, okay, it, it's it's in it's in here now. It's there. It made me a safe place. So I'm gonna reload and try and grab the rubbly glove without taking too much damage. But whatever it is that I'm supposed to do is very small. Shouldn't turn around. That's over the back here, maybe. Now I'm safe. Well, that's as good as that's going to get, probably. Um. Nothing to do with the bodies on the walls, okay. Eliminating possibilities. It really feels like I'm supposed to do something with that box there, right? Drink all the al alcohol I can, because that's how you get through this game. And on the faucet. The faucet. This thing. Nothing to be found here. Yeah? Nothing to be found here. Yeah? to be found here but I'm continuously being shot okay that worked that time water is draining from the reservoir uh, don't do that coal what's draining from the reservoir I mean, it's heavy water, so presumably it's something to do with that. Right? There was another one over here that didn't work, but maybe it does. No? Hang on. This is now full. Now I can use the glove. A glove and I have a knife. That meaning? <laughs> I also have some broken bottles and a bucket. <laughs> I can jam the knife into an electrical switchboard or something? Is that what you want? Is that what you want from me? Cables I have to cut. Right. I can't cut the cable from here, he says. Okay, that. Yeah, hold it with the hand that is.
do the thing. No, not the second call. I couldn't run over it in case I got electrocuted. So I can hide behind. And now the ghosts help. By becoming ghost electricity. Come! It is King Toba. Um. That all made sense. I've got the coal. I have the coal. We probably can't power this without the coal. Oh, and we, we end on the best music as well. I'm hoping this is the end. How'd you get here? Questions, questions. I haven't talked to you once. <laughs> Apparently I'm not gonna start. Is this the end? Oh, looks like it. This is FMV. Oh, it's one of those floating trains. Man! This way. <laughs> I'm glad that took as long as it did. <laughs> So I'm just sort of jumping up and down with excitement. Oh, it's going to explode. Great. Frills and spells. <laughs> what happened in this game? Then we crash the train and die at the end. I'm guessing because this is the ghost train, it doesn't matter that there's a big hole there. Oh, oh it jumps. The train jumps. <laughs> like the cat does. It just learned it can do that. We all have spiritualism to thank. Fiend. You don't get a rock ending. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're not allowed guitars. Feed. It's got lyric. This is going to get copyright struck. They said the games got worse as they went on, and I can fully trust them now. But don't get me wrong, I went through the games thinking, ending each one going, oh my god, that was, that was quite something. But retrospect is teaching me a lot about how good the earlier ones were. So it's the game in reverse, I guess? I remember that door. I don't remember that painting. I was from the first game. Oh, 
Ah yes, when the ghosts helped because we cut wires. Can you learn more than two chords, please? <laughs> I think they knew what they were doing in this game other than get money for a help line. It's like... It reeks so much of like, oh, we, we ran out of ideas. So we just... Th this is like... Oh, is this like concept art? Um, this feels like... Sort of like Project Veer or something, in the sense of like, we're just throwing everything at it. But at the very least, we are now at the stage with Project Beer where we're trying to make things make sense. <laughs> it was scraped to the bottom of the barrel and made horrible barrel soup. This is barrel soup. They're really pleased with that one, aren't they? Welcome to Alone in the Dark 3, barrel soup. <laughs> uh, better or worse than Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> it didn't bug out. I mean, it was it wasn't well designed in like hitboxes and stuff. But let's start with the vod barrel soup. Oh, you it, it, do you remember when this started as noir? That stopped immediately after the opening cutscene. Again, it feels like the Shoot. people who did the opening cutscene had a different idea for a game. Um, well, that happened. Do you know what the the best thing the best thing to come out of this game or us playing this game? Is this doodle that I did of M today? Is it today or yesterday? One or the other. Um, got Noir opening, then it went twang, 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 and that was, and then it just sort of dissolved into nonsense. Um, yeah, I thought I'd draw M as a zombie uh, uh, cowboy. Spinning again. Having the fun. Uh, yes. Well, that was that. <laughs> that was that. Whatever that was. It was it. It was itself, and no more, no less. Um, okay. <laughs> on that note, I guess we'll end on time. It could theoretically start the next game, but it's probably not worth it. Um, <laughs> judge. So yeah, I'll, I guess I'll be back tomorrow with with another spook game. I don't... <sighs> I'm not sure whether to play an extra game because we've got like another two games before the last stream of October. Or the last game stream of October. Um, or whether to just start the last game. I don't know. We all need to recover from this game, yeah. Um, I think let's we'll, we'll do another uh, game. We might be able to finish it in a couple of streams. Maybe, I don't know. How long is it? Hang on. How long to beat secret game? That sounds like a long title, but I'm just really bad at typing. Um, oh, about 10 hours. So four streams? Probably is going to go into November if we do that. Uh... <laughs> How to meet Alone in the Dark 4. Alone in the Dark 4, I mean, but what is the Alone in the Dark series? Because I know... Oh, no, 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 there was, after this, there was a game, The New Nightmare? Was it? Apparently that's actually pretty good. Yeah, Alone in the Dark, New Nightmare, 2001. So survival horror, sort of inspired by Resident Evil, which is funny because Resident Evil was inspired by this. Um, yeah, close to that of Resident Evil and the Alone in the Dark, internally known as that. So apparently that's pretty good. But I don't have that and I don't know if you can buy it. I don't know if it's a thing. Is it on GOG? Let's have a look. Usually where I get my old games from. Alone in the Dark. You, you don't find 
not many. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. You actually can play it. Well. And. <laughs> I'm just going to copy the image header and give you an idea as to... Uh, can I... Hang on. Oh, I can't really show pictures on this, but let's save. Save the picture. Oh, I'll just, I'll just send you the link, and then you can have a look for yourself. <laughs> there you go. This is the sort of thing you can expect from this. Looks way more like Resident Evil. Yeah, very, very much uh, jump forward for a new nightmare. And apparently this one's all right. Apparently this one's pretty good. But is it going to be the kind of jank we're looking for? Resident Schmevel. Schmevel and Schmevel. Uh, I mean, saying that, it has like three and a half stars out of five on GOG, but there you go. I'm surprised actually that it's on there. So you tend not to find a lot of sort of PlayStation One games. You know, I want to play the original Resident Evil. So I want to play the original Silent Hills. I want to play Nightmare Creatures. You know, <laughs> and I don't think they're on there. No, uh, no Nightmare Creatures. Ho oh, hum. Um. So yeah, Alone in the Dark 4 is a thing, kind of, sort of. And then after that was Alone in the Dark 2008, which was an entire reboot to the franchise and generally has really quite poor reception. <laughs> Very buggy. Um, and then there's Illumination, which had an even worse reception. Uh, but they're rebooting the franchise again soon. At some point. So for Resident Evil, you can play the remake with the 10 controls. True, but... You know me, I like the old games. I like the way they look and feel, because they're awful. <laughs> Can I just have low poly? That's what I want. Something nice and low poly and janky. With the, and with the original voice acting as well. The original voice acting in Resident Evil is real good. Um, And low standards. Look, I grew up with Star Wing for the uh, Super Nintendo, which is like one of the first console 3D games ever. It ran at three frames per second, and that dropped to two if more than ten polygons were on the screen. I standards mean nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. Well, that was that. That's our scheduled Alone in the Dark for the year. Um, if the remake's out by next year, maybe we'll play that. If not, we've got the new Nightmare, which is apparently good, he says with heavy air quotes. Um, and I'm pretty certain we're not going to play the next two. But still, the first game is the best. Second one's all right. Third one is dismal. <laughs> Uh, but there, there we are. Um, the third one exists. <laughs> Does it? Does it really? Did we not just collectively hallucinate this? I hope we did. But yeah, uh, well, you can buy all three of these games as a bundle on GOG for like five quid if you're wanting. Kind of recommend it. They're a bit of fun. Hallucinations would make some kind of sense. Maybe. <laughs> I do like the idea of sitting down and trying to work out a horror western. Maybe specifically, you know, actually go like, hey, how would we make this into a game, a puzzle game? That might be an idea. We could probably cut, yeah, Fool's AU when. <laughs> we can come up with better mechanics than just suddenly Alice in Wonderland. God. <laughs> I feel like you guys had a better time than me, because you got to read ahead and go, what? Yeah, suddenly you can jump. The game does not tell you you can jump. It explicitly tells you that you can't jump until you get to the place where you need to try and jump. 
in in fact in the same location as previously you had to jump by not using a command to jump but by running which was a mechanic that you hadn't had to do before <laughs> there were two different sudden jump mechanics that were only ever used once and they were both in the same place and they both worked differently <laughs> <laughs> One playthrough viewed or experienced is enough, yeah. Reading head is just go meet up with this person, you will get shot now, you're a cougar. <laughs> that happened, that also happened. I mean that that That's certainly not gonna be in our version, but at the very least it kinda makes sense with the setting of, if you're making a game in 1995. Um <laughs> Yeah, the mechanic jumped on me. Exactly. But then the gun touch your other self, now you are a cowboy. That also happened. My assumption with that puzzle, right, was, oh, okay, if I try and shoot, then they're going to shoot me bad time. So if I put down the gun, they're going to put down their gun. I can then walk over, pick up the gun, walk away, pull out my gun, shoot them. They don't have a gun anymore. Bingo bongo. We've solved the problem, right? <laughs> that was my solution. Instead... <laughs> Sudden face with cowboy hat your. <laughs> yeah, sudden face with cowboy hat your. Quoth the raven, never your. Um. <laughs> Images of a room with red circles around collections of two pixels that are apparently very important items. Yeah, there, there, well, there was one that was literally one pixel, wasn't there? I was like, ah, oh, I picked up these four pixels. That was the leaf. And then I think it was a coin in the same room. And I was like, oh, that one was one pixel. It's actually one pixel. Quite something. Uh, I don't know how much you can mod this game. Can we just re like completely build this up from the ground? Make a mod for Alone in the Dark 3 that makes it comprehensible <laughs> by which i mean build it from scratch oh, let's not forget the the weird perspective melting mc escher hoedown with people's tipos spinning at us <laughs> and shooting us with a banjo that happened as well <laughs> after being lifted from the ground by a levitating grave <laughs> that we opened with a ace of diamonds <laughs> Any sentence you can use to describe what happens in this game sounds like Dadaism. In the next room, you'll find a giant spider. Said giant spider is a person crawling on all fours, spitting at you. <laughs> they, don't, they weren't spitting at you. They were licking you. They were firing their tongue at you. Kill the smelly ghoul with soap. That also happened. <laughs> there wouldn't be Alone in the Dark 3. Exactly. We can make Alone in the Dark... Uh... I don't know, I'm trying to think of some way of making three, but with cowboy stuff. Alone in the Dark, Try Noon. Kind of works. Um, <laughs> also, I did read that as soap, but it does say soup. Um, nemesis of all dirty people. So every single variant of unlocking a door through wildly different means. Including summoning a ghost by touching a lamp. And not like a kind of genie lamp, just a, la a wall lamp. <laughs> the ghost then told us that we're going to be resurrected later in the game and then uh, opened a door. <laughs> which we then had to, you know, subsequently get through the next door, which was actually a painting by giving a cuckoo clock some meat. Um, how much more of this are we gonna? <laughs> oh yeah, we bypassed a, a group of rattlesnakes with a maraca. That happens. That that one at least with a kind of certain sense of surrealism does actually make sense. But you know, that kind of heightened reality. I can get that one. Oh yeah, open the locked door by opening the door. That was the other. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yes, we opened the locked door by opening the door. <laughs> that sentence 
will skip over your brain before it actually properly sinks in what what that means. <laughs> He's making the same noise as us. He must also be a snack. See, I quite like that. It sort of makes them sort of adorable. <laughs> You're so tired. <laughs> Don't worry, the next game will make perfect sense. Uh, it's been, it was penned by a famous horror author. They are known for making things that don't make sense, so... <laughs> we'll see. Apparently the next one is at least fun in story. I don't know how accurate that is. Actually, hang on, let me look. Let me, let me look at the thing. Um... Let me see some reviews for this game. What have we got here? Oh, like 4.6 stars out of 5. That's more like it. This has got 90%. Good rating. Classic horror title. It's a great storyline. Good characters. Lots of attention to detail. This feels like the antithesis of the game we just played. So, get ready for that. Um, also, I guess I have to draw stoic in the style of this. Cool, nice. Um, you think your brain refuses to retain anything after that? Fair. Um, cool, nice. Also, some really, really good picture for what's going to happen. It might, it might, it's, this game might be spooky. It doesn't look it. <laughs> it looks old and janky. It came out in 2001. So I'm not expecting it to be spooky, but you never know. Anyway, I'm going to leave. Good night. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, rambling happened. Have a wonderful time, everyone. Thank you for enduring this with me um, and also guiding me through it with your very helpful walkthroughs. I'm going to leave now. Have a grand old time. New game tomorrow. Hopefully fun. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. Have a good day. Goodbye.